time for another new project. Valentine's is over. Actually, it's Valentine's today, but it's pretty much over. And so now we need a St. Patrick's Day garland. So I have my yarn back here and I have this random, I don't even know why or where I got this, this one. It's a really pretty color, but it is so tiny and I don't like working with tiny yarn. So I'm just doing the hardest thing possible and rolling this up into a ball. And I'm just gonna add it into these other colors as I make my garland because I just wanna get rid of this. I also just wrote down the pattern for doing a three leaf and a four leaf clover. I found this pattern from Bag o Day Crochet, if you want to look them up. They almost have a million subscribers, which is pretty cool that there's such a big crochet community. I would have never guessed before I got into crocheting that it would be so big. Pretty much what I'm going to do is make as many three leaf and four leaf clovers as I can before the beginning of March, so like in two weeks, because I like to decorate for my holidays the beginning of the month so I can enjoy it. Also from my... Valentine's garland. I have some beads way back there. I have some leftover white beads, so I'm gonna use those for it, and it's pretty straightforward this project, but if you wanna follow along, use that tutorial and let's make a million four-leaf clovers. <laughs> Okay, I tried my first one and it looks so wonky. Like, I reviewed the pattern again because I thought maybe I did too many stitches, but I did it right. I might either need to rework the pattern for my liking or I'm gonna have to block this, see if that flattens it out because it just does not look flat at all. This one I blocked and this was the original pattern, which I don't really mind. I'm gonna block the other ones, but I kind of altered the pattern a little bit and I'm trying to decide if I like the longer tail or the shorter one. I think I'll do like a middle ground between these two. I feel bad sharing other people's patterns when you can go see theirs on their channel. So if you want to see this one, I would go check out that channel that I was talking about earlier. I did alter it a little bit and so I'll show you what I did. It's just less uh, bulky, I guess, for the leaves and then it's a longer tail. So I have medium weight four yarn and I'm using a size, I think this is size six crochet hook. I can't tell because my husband is homemade homemade me an ergonomic hook and um, it's covering that up and I know it looks atrocious but you know. We're gonna start off with our slip knot. We put the yarn into a circle. The one on top is the side connected to the ball of yarn. Then we go underneath and we're going to pull it through and then you can just loosen it. Now we are going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. We're going to join into a circle using a slip stitch. Then we are going to chain five and you're going to decide now whether you want to do a four leaf or a three leaf clover. So if you want to do a a three leaf clover you're only going to do this sequence three times if you want to do a four leaf you're going to do it four times so i'll show you a four leaf so you chain five one two three four five then we're going to go back into the center and do a slip stitch and that connects that into a little circle that's our first little uh leaf now we're going to do it again, one, two, three, four, five, connect it with a slip stitch, one, two, three, four, five, connect it with a slip stitch. Last one, one, two, three, four, five, 
connect it. And there we have our leaves. Now we're going to make our stem. So we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to count back, not counting the, the chain on the hook. We're going to count back four stitches, one, two, three, four, and we're going to do a half double crochet in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, out, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to do that one more time into the next stitch. Yarn over, in, yarn over, out, yarn over, pull through all of them. And then we are just going to do a single crochet into the remaining. So there's one. There's two. There's three. And then we are going to single crochet right into the first leaf spot. So right into that hole where we made our first leaf, single crochet in there. Okay. Now we're going to do one half double crochet. So wrap around, in, around, out, around, through all three. We're going to do two double crochets. Go around, in, around, out, around, through two, around, through two, do that again, around in, around out, around through two, around through two. Now we're going to do two half double crochets again and make sure as you create this we're pulling those leaf parts over because we want it to fit in this, in this section. So do two half double crochets again, there's one, there's two, Two double crochets. There's one. There's two. Okay, and then we're going to do one half double crochet. One single crochet. And then we're going to do another single crochet, but into the second leaf spot. And then we're just going to start that sequence again. So, one half double crochet, two double crochet, two half double crochet. Double crochet, one half, one single, and then a single crochet into the next spot, which is our third leaf, and repeat the sequence. So one half double crochet, two double crochet, two half double crochet, two double crochet. Half. 
one single. And if you're only doing three leaves, that's where you'll stop, but we're doing four. So we're going to do a single crochet into the next spot. One half, two double, Two double. One half. And a single crochet. And that is where we will leave it. We want to pull the tail out and create a pretty long tail before you cut it off because we're going to sew the leaf to the stem and then um, I'll show you how I weave it in and definitely we'll need to block this um, which if you don't know what that is I didn't for a while you just run it under some water and then lay it flat to dry you can either pin it to the carpet which is what I do or just lay a book on it or something, let it dry so that it's flat and, you know, but not all bunchy. But there's our four-leaf clover. Let me find my scissors. All right. So this tail that was connected in the center, you can pull it tight and you can weave it in. Or honestly, since I kind of bring it around as I'm creating my circle and weave it in as I'm crocheting. I don't always weave it in, but we will do that today, so. Now this one, as you can see, the leaf and the stem are not connected, so what I like to do is use my yarn needle and I just do a couple whip stitches to connect it. take my yarn and weave it down the stem and I feel like it kind of straightens it out. Could just be me thinking things but this is what I like to do so I bring it all the way down and then I'm just going to tie it off in the back here. And there we go. Sorry, I'm all over the place with filming. I'm just trying to figure out how to stay in the center. I tend to crochet with my entire body, it seems, but there we go. There is our four-leaf clover. And I hope that was helpful. Leave any comments below if you have questions about how to make that. But now I'm going to go block it. And if you're following my tutorial on, or just my video on making the garland, we got to make a bunch more of these. So write down the pattern or rewind the video and let's get making some. twine and my beads and we are going to finish this thing. We're going to start off with our string and I'm actually going to go over to our other garland over here. I'm going to measure using this one. 
So that's roughly what we'll need. And then we are going to tie a little knot here because I like to use push pins and just stick it on there on the wall. And then we're gonna start stringing our beads. You will want a yarn needle because it makes it a million times easier. There we go. Okay. Sorry the AC is so loud, but I have it all set up here. And I still have a full thing of beads. So we might just end up doing an Easter garland after all. But let's get this thing strung up. Here is how I have been attaching the garland. So first your beads on and I'm going to make sure they're all down here at the end and then it's very important that you hold your clover up and then you want this part to go in the direction that you're that it's gonna sit if that makes sense because if you just don't pay attention which I've done before and weave it in then it's backwards compared to all the other ones so hold it face up and what you're gonna do is you want this string to be attached to as much as we can um, in this top part because if you just put it in here like this which you can do but I've found that it just doesn't look as nice it doesn't lay as flat and it kind of shrivels up over time. So I'm going to put it in part of this first leaf and then we're going to go up all the way along. By going through as much as possible, it'll make it flatter over kind of on this leaf. self-explanatory. I think it's turning out pretty cute. Let's keep it going. 